Hello everyone, Zaid from Z Security here, and in today's video, I wanna answer a question that a lot of you guys asked in my previous video about hacking and programming. The question was, what is the best programming language for hackers? Smash that like button if you're enjoying our content. This really helps us to grow. It makes us know that you're enjoying our content, which makes us make more content. Now let's go. Now, before we get into this, I wanna stress a very important point that I already mentioned in my previous video. You do not need to learn programming to be a good hacker. Learning programming will actually not make you a hacker. If you learn programming, you'll become a programmer and without the hacking skills, you will not be able to hack anything or test the security of anything. Instead, you should look at programming as a skill or an add-on that you can add to your existing hacking skills so you can combine both of these skills and use your programming knowledge when testing the security of systems, when writing hacking tools, and when exploiting these systems. So you'll be able to read existing code and discover weaknesses in it. You'll be able to extend existing hacking tools and add more features, fix their bugs if there are any bugs in them, or write your own hacking tools. So look at programming as an add-on, as a skill to add to your existing hacking skills. This is very, very important. Once we know that, the question is, what is the best programming language for hackers? Now, if you know me at all, you probably think that I'm gonna say Python is the best programming language for hackers, especially that I have a full course that teaches Python and hacking. But in my opinion, I actually don't think Python is the best programming language for hackers. Yes, Python is amazing if you want to build your own hacking tools because it's, first of all, Python is very easy anyway as a programming language. It's also very powerful and there are so many libraries and plugins that would help with hacking, with parsing data and with writing hacking tools. Also, there are so many existing hacking programs written in Python. Therefore, if you know Python, you'll be able to build up on these tools, extend them and add more features to them and fix bugs if they have any bugs, like I said. But that doesn't make it the best programming language for hacking. Hacking is a huge field. It makes it a really good language and in my opinion, the best language for writing hacking tools. Ruby, for example, is another great language. It's very easy to use also, and it is great for building hacking tools. You have the whole Metasploit framework is built in it. It's a huge framework for hacking. And again, if you learn it, then you'll be able to fix bugs with it. If there are any, you'll be able to extend it and build and add more features to it, and even write your own Metasploit modules, Metasploit exploits, and Metasploit post-exploitation modules, and so on. Now, let's say you actually don't want to write hacking tools. You are interested in learning exploit development. Well, in that case, then you'll need to learn C because C is a very powerful programming language that gives us low level access to the system resources. It, it makes it easy for us to manipulate and access the system memory along with other resources. That's why it is very, very good when it comes to exploit development. This doesn't mean that you can't access these resources with Python and Ruby, but it just means that C is the best when it comes to that. It makes it the easiest and it is the most powerful. If you wanna learn reverse engineering, for example, then assembly is very important, machine language. And which version of assembly or which type really depends on the target processor because assembly for ARM is different than assembly for x86 and so on. If your goal is to reverse engineer a program that is written in Java, then you'll probably need to learn Java too, and then it goes on for any other language. Now, I know I'm sounding confusing, and it seems like the answer I'm going towards is learn as many programming languages as possible, and that is not what I want you to do. I do not think that's the right approach towards this. Instead, you should focus on learning programming, not a programming language. So learn programming as a skill. So when you learn programming as a discipline, as a skill, and learn how to properly design programs, write algorithms, deal with data structures and the different types of statements and the right programming concepts, you'll be able to apply these concepts to any programming language and to any project that you want to build. Therefore, the programming language becomes irrelevant and the main thing that you're learning is the right programming concepts. 
And you can say this to any programmer and they'll say, yes, I can pick up any programming language within a week and I'll be able to write programs with it easily because they already know how to program. They already know how to solve problems. They already know how to write algorithms. All they need to learn is the right syntax for this new programming language and they'll be able to use it to write programs with no problems at all. Now, one last piece of advice before we end this video is if you really want to learn programming, in my opinion, the best way of doing that is to have a goal in mind, have a program that you want to implement yourself and then learn a programming language that is perfect for that goal and start implementing the program as you learn this programming language. That way you're not gonna get bored You'll always be motivated and at the end you're gonna end up writing a program that you really want and learning a specific programming language. That's actually the methodology I follow in my Python and hacking course. I teach Python by writing hacking programs so at the end of the course you'll end up with a number of hacking programs written by yourself and you'll learn how to write Python programs properly. Now, if you're a programmer or considering to learn programming, then I highly recommend checking out Kite. It's an add-on that you can add to pretty much any IDE or text editor, including Sublime, which is my favorite, and it'll pretty much transform it into an IDE, showing you function signatures, documentation, possible methods, and so on. But the coolest thing about it is it'll study your programming style and use machine learning to auto-complete your code. It's really, really cool. You have to try it to see it for yourself. Just use the links in the description to get it. Kite is sponsoring this video, but I wouldn't recommend it if I didn't like it and didn't use it myself. Now that's my own opinion anyway. Let me know what you think in the comments. And as usual, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to smash that like button to support us and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with the latest in cybersecurity.